Hi everyone, my name is Ken, and today I will show you how to edit Grub through Azure Server Console. Grub stands for Grand Unified Bootloader, and it is available during boot up and allows you to select what operating system to run or select specific kernel configuration available. Being able to modify your Grub config to change your run level at boot time is crucial to being able to debug your VM in situations where it may be unable to boot into the regular OS. In some situations, like what we'll show you today, Grub may be misconfigured not to show up at all during boot or to show up on the wrong output port. In this video, I will show you how to properly configure your Grub settings in RHEL 7. In this case right now, I will show you that if I reboot from my current session in Azure Serial Console, my grub timeout setting is set to zero, so it will skip the grub menu and immediately boot into RHEL. So I'll reboot. And here you see that grub did not come up. Grub in RHEL is easy to modify. The grub config file to modify is etsy default grub. And once you modify that, you can run grub to make config to rebuild grub. So let's do that. I will edit the file. And you can see in this case, the timeout is set to zero seconds. So in this case, let's go ahead and set it to 15 seconds. We'll save the file and we will rebuild Grub. And let's reboot the VM. You can see that Grub came up. I can interrupt the countdown and make it display permanently. In this situation, because my operating system has not booted, I won't be able to SSH yet, but no need to panic as we just need to boot the operating system. In this case, I can also edit the grub configuration by pressing E on the keyboard. Here I can change my run level by appending the level to the Linux boot line. For example, I will add run level 1, which stands for single user mode. Once I've added this line, I will press Ctrl X to continue boot. This will continue booting into run level 1, which is single user mode. Now that I am in single user mode, I will log in. I can also confirm that I am run level 1 by typing run level. And here we see 1, and this means that I am in run level 1. In this video, you learned how to configure Grub on your RHEL VM and change run levels on boot within Grub.